We told you uh, a short while ago how a man has been charged with a series of rapes in the south of England ten years ago. Well, now we move along the Hampshire coast to the city of Southampton. Last month, a woman was beaten unconscious by a rapist, a young man who seems to be not only violent, but experienced at these things. In fact, he's now been linked to two other rapes, the first of which occurred two years ago. So our reconstruction starts in February 1997. You lost, love? Yeah, I'm trying to get to Swadelin. I know a shortcut through the woods. I'll take you there if you like. Early 20s, over six foot tall and with a local Hampshire accent. He chatted with her and smoked a cigarette as they walked further into the common. Then he turned on her and raped her. That was two years back in the north of Southampton. Then four months ago, in the south. <laughs> okay, and can we have our second mystery guest, please? <laughs> Mark! Mark! Okay, gentlemen, you're 90 seconds. Mum, what are you doing home? Where are you keep? What's happened? I've been attacked. What? About an hour earlier in the Woolston Social Club. Can I sit down with me now? Come on, Polly, it's New Year's Eve. I don't care whether it's New Year's Eve. Can you sit down and Gary, bored? Gary's at the bar and I'm just going to go and talk to him, right? No, no, Derek, sit down. Pauline, I'm not having any more. I'm going to the bar and I'll be there for five minutes, No, okay? no. Derek! I had a couple of words with my husband. Nothing special. But I was, I was in a bit of a mood anyway. And, um, decided to walk home. Right, we have two hours to the countdown. If you've got any requests or dedications, bring them on in. I found I was walking quite quickly because obviously, although it's never ever scared me to walk up anywhere, I just thought the sooner I got home, the sooner I could be indoors with the children. Excuse me, love. Excuse me. Got a bit of trouble with the car. Is there a garage near you? Yes, lovely. If you go down the Archery Road and you do a left onto Western Lane, go up to the top there and do a right on Portsmouth Road, you should find one along there. Right. Cheers, love. It was a white car. Maybe it was his. You won't recognise me, will you? No. No, I said, of course I won't. Because I wear glasses. But I only wear reading glasses. You won't, will you? With that, he was quite happy. He sounded a local lad. He was a young lad, actually. And the awful part of it, even now, he's young enough to be my son. Who went out on his own in a red check shirt around 10 p.m. on New Year's Eve in Southampton? He had high cheekbones and short mousy brown hair. He was aged about 24 and around 6 foot 2. Three months later, a bus to Ocean Village. Come on, run! Oh, Derek, you're going to I don't normally go out clubbing and things like that. I've done all that. So they used to ask me all the time for it to go out and I used to be like, no, I've got a baby to think about now. I can't go out every weekend, spend some money on drink and all, whatever. But I just fancied going out, just, you know, I fancied going out and having a dance. <laughs> I thought, it's, it's not me, you know, I'm a 
ますけれども。<笑>